In this view of Earth from space, it is clear that the Earth is rotating. You know, if you search the internet, and especially YouTube, you'll find plenty of videos like this claiming that it shows the Earth rotating. But as I'm going to show, there are in reality no videos anywhere actually showing a rotating or moving Earth. No real video anywhere. So let's start with this video that is often cited as video proof that the Earth rotates. Well, is this video real? And does it show that the Earth rotates? Well, it's kind of yes and no. The images of the Earth are real, but the rotating of the Earth is an illusion. And in fact, if you go to the article titled Crafting the Blue Marble, the creators of this video will explain to you how they created the rotating Earth. Here is just a small quote from the website. In 2002, my colleague Weta Stokely was working on a global map of the Earth that was going to blow away all previous examples. A new NASA satellite, Terra, was gathering the first color pictures of the entire Earth, and we wanted to showcase the imagery. Reto put together about 10,000 satellite scenes collected over 100 days, stripped out the clouds, and created a 43,200 pixel by 21,600 pixel map of the Earth. Of course, uh, that's the end of the quote. And of course, later they also overlaid the entire globe with cloud coverage imagery. And uh, I also provide all the links to every all the information I have. All the links are provided at the bottom of the video. It's not surprising though that people think that the video is actually showing the real Earth rotating since most people seem to take it as a given that since the Earth is rotating then obviously there must be a whole lot of video showing this amazing event. I mean, you know, we've sent men to the moon. We've sent spacecraft to other planets like Venus, Mars and Jupiter and even further out into space. We've sent thousands of rockets and satellites into space so why wouldn't there be at least one decent video showing the Earth rotating? Well, I did a thorough search of the internet and believe it or not, I did actually find a few videos which claim that they show the Earth rotating. So let's take a look at one of the most popular videos that is used as video evidence that the Earth rotates. It is a series of photos that was taken by the Galileo spacecraft on its first flyby of the Earth. I say series of photos because if you look at the film, you get the impression that the Galileo spacecraft was just hovering above the Earth in a stationary position and then shot some film over a period of 24 hours. But this is not exactly what happened. These images were taken during Galileo's first Earth flyby. Now this gravity assist increased Galileo's speed around the Sun by about 5.2 kilometers per second or 11,600 miles per hour which is about 17,000 kilometers per hour. Firstly, before I continue my analysis of the animation, I think we need to define what the words flyby and animation actually mean. A flyby is a path a spacecraft follows past a planet or other body in space to get information about it. So keep that in mind when you watch the animation that was taken from the Galileo spacecraft. According to Wikipedia, an animation is the rapid display of a sequence of images to create an illusion of movement. So let's continue with the analysis. Now, when the Galileo spacecraft passed close to the Earth on 8 December 1990, it took more than a thousand photographs of our planet as it went by. The photographs were actually taken three days after it passed close by the Earth. They were taken on December 11th and 12th, 1990. And according to NASA, the photos were taken anywhere from the time that Galileo was between 2 and 2.7 million kilometers from the Earth's surface. Keep in mind that Galileo's closest approach was 960 kilometers or 597 miles above the Earth's surface, which was on December 8, 1990, three days before these pictures were taken. In other words, Galileo had plenty of opportunity to take photos from the time it was 960 kilometers above the Earth's surface, but it waited until it was between 2 and 2.7 million kilometers away from the Earth before it decided to take some photos. I'll just let you ponder that one. Now if you go to the links I've provided, 
you'll get more information about the uh, the Gala list spacecraft and photos and, and things like that. Uh, and uh, you'll find all the images that were taken by the Gala spacecraft, and a lot of those images have been put together to make various animations showing the Earth rotating. This one even has fake fixed stars added to the background. What I take away from these animations is that the animators can make the Earth appear to be rotating very fast or very slowly, or even stationary if they wanted to. My goodness, if they wanted to, they could probably put fairies in the background and make those rotate around the Earth. The truth is that the Galileo spacecraft was not immobile, in other words, just staying in one place without moving and taking uh, snapshots of, of the Earth. Uh, in fact, the Galileo spacecraft was receding away from the Earth at about 18,000 kilometers per hour. But if you follow the link for this video, they'll tell you that it is the Earth that is receding away from the spacecraft, which, which may be true. Okay, the point of the video is, is not, I'm not trying to prove that the Earth doesn't move, but you, you know, NASA or anybody, you can't use that uh, that video and uh, and say that it is the Earth that is receding away into the background, away from the spacecraft, since it is the spacecraft, uh, according to NASA's own information, it is receding away from the Earth and is flying past the Earth at about 18,000 kilometers per hour. This animation from a NASA website shows the actual flight path that Galileo took. And as you can clearly see, the spacecraft is moving past the Earth. Now, of course, the animation shows the Earth in different positions at different times, but that's only because they believe the Earth orbits the Sun, although this does not necessarily reflect reality because it's just a mathematical model. And in the geocentric and heliocentric models, the math is exactly the same. Let's now turn our attention to video taken from the International Space Station that, believe it or not, are sometimes used as video proof that the Earth rotates. This is not true at all, and for those who don't know, the ISS, or International Space Station, is actually orbiting the Earth at an average speed of 17,000 miles per hour, or about 27,000 kilometers per hour. And in fact, if you go to www.isstracker.com you can track it live and see its current speed and altitude and as you can see the ISS orbits the Earth. Next we'll be taking a look at a series of photos that was put together to make an animation supposedly showing the moon transiting a rotating Earth. On the NASA website it says quote Videos of the Moon transiting the Earth as imaged by NASA's epoxy spacecraft were made from the still images collected when epoxy spacecraft imaged the Earth-Moon system on the 28th and 29th of May 2008. When the images were acquired, the spacecraft was just outside the orbit of the Earth and ahead of the Earth by 31 million miles, making it as far from the Earth as Mercury is from the Sun." End of quote. Now the epoxy spacecraft passed by, in other words, flew by the Earth on three separate occasions. On its first Earth flyby on December 29, 2007, the spacecraft was closest to the Earth at a distance of 15,567 kilometers above Eastern Asia, and because of the close approach, several observers were able to image the spacecraft, and you can find those images all over the internet. But uh, as I said previously, uh, the pictures were taken on 28th, of, uh, 28th and 29th of May 2008 when the spacecraft was about 31 million miles away from the Earth. In other words, between December 29th, 2007 and May 28th and 29th, 2008, Epoxy had plenty of opportunity to take still shots of the Earth-Moon system, but instead NASA decided to wait for Epoxy to be about 2 million miles from the Earth before they decided to roll camera and tell the world that those images actually show a rotating Earth. In fact, as stated before, there were actually three Earth flybys, so there were many other or better opportunities to acquire higher quality and more detailed shots of the Earth-Moon system. And don't forget that this is an animation, which is a series of images designed to create the illusion of movement. In conclusion, it is now 2012 
and basically the best video evidence that they have to try to prove the rotation of the earth is taken from video from the early 1990s and yes there is video from 2008 but it is still very far away from the earth and it's very poor quality in fact it's difficult to even make out if it's not a computer generated image uh, the point is that you know since it is 2012 why don't we have better quality higher quality uh, film of the earth if the earth indeed does it rotate why don't we have film of it and uh, why isn't it good quality uh, you can search the internet like I have and you will find nothing better than what I've shown you anyway just something to think about I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please subscribe and even if you didn't subscribe anyway uh, stay tuned to this channel for more videos okay thanks for watching